What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So on today's video guys, I want to talk about one thing that you need to do before we get the Punica Power Pass and the Express event that has been announced by Amazon Game Studio in their July roadmap and also on their team update. So basically they told us that we're gonna get those in July and I don't think it's gonna be on July 20 because that's whenever our current Express event is going to end. Alright, so let's get straight into it. So most of us think that rest bonuses can only be used as a catching up system and in fact it's actually true because uh, for example my second scrapper right here I haven't played her because you know I don't really enjoy playing uh, two scrappers at a time so I'm kind of stacking up the rest bonuses on her and it's great because I can use those uh, for a catching up system. But the thing is how can we use these rest bonuses uh, system in our advantages for the Punica Power Pass? So in order to do that first, you need to know in advance what class you're going to play for the Punica Power Pass. So let's say you want to play Arcana or a Sorceress, then obviously Arcana and Sorceress is in the category of a mage. So you will want to create a mage character. Just like I did right here, I'm gonna want to play a Sorceress with the Punica Power Pass and Express event. So I did create a mage and I just leave it alone. I didn't choose a class yet. Uh, I just went to Triction to just have a walk and then I just locked off on that character, right? And so basically what it does is that this character is already stacking up rest bonuses. So that means uh, whenever the Punica Power Pass is actually going to drop and then I'm going to uh, Punica Power Pass her all the way to tier 3, right? She's already going to have a full stack of rest bonuses that you can use in tier 3. And that's actually great because that's going to save you all the time because she's going to have an advantage of at least two days of dailies of uh, Chaos Dungeons Guardian Raids that you can use with the Express event that's going to help you a lot to progress in tier 3 as fast as possible and I do think uh, it's actually pretty great. Now the good thing about this one is that you don't need to invest anything because you only need to create a character and leave it alone until the Punica Power Pass actually drops. And those rest bonuses will be very, very helpful combined with the Express event, as I said. Uh, if you don't have any character slots, uh, let's say you have a full six character slots and you have, let's say, a, a character in tier one or tier two, and that you have been uh, planning to actually uh, get her or him to tier three, right, with the Punica Power Pass, then just don't play it anymore. Just like this one, just like what I'm doing with my Shadow Hunter right here. Uh, I'm stacking up the rest bonuses here because I may change my mind, you know. Still right now, I want to play my uh, play sorcerers for my Punica Power Pass and Express event, but I may change my mind. So I didn't play my uh, Shadow Hunter as well uh, because honestly, I, I don't want to go through the leveling process and then also uh, tier one, tier two, tier uh, until tier three. I think that's very boring. So anyway, I'm not gonna play her. But as you guys can see, I have also rest bonuses. So if I apply the Punica Power Pass on this character. She's also going to have that on tier 3 and she's going to be able to have that um, re juicy rest bonuses in tier 3, right? And so it's actually pretty simple and it's really easy to do. There's no cost for you to actually um, do that, you know? There's no spending of gold. There's no huge time uh, spending to do that. The only time you need to spend is to create a character. So I think everyone can do that. And if you don't care about your character uh, looking, I don't think it's going to take you less than five minutes to do that. So actually pretty any, anyone can do this and it's actually pretty simple. So I do advise everyone to actually think about what class they have, they want to play and you just create a character in that category and leave it alone. So that's basically it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Peace.